Fuck you. Bladed Articles. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bladed Articles. Today for you guys we have got one of these. And this is a custom made by none other than Rue Titley. He is an English knife maker, uh, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that's what I have read up about him anyway. So we will go with that. English. Knife. Good. Okay. So, this, uh, just to point out the obvious, this was camo. I took um, a little what's the word adventure I took it on a little adventure and yeah I didn't like the camo but we'll, we'll see what this ends up looking like however I, it's dealable now I, I just really didn't like the camo from far away it looks you know far away like there that looks all right from uh, my house maybe yeah anyway so this is the custom by R or Rue Sorry, I keep saying are you Titley. As far as I'm aware, it is Rue Titley. Anyway, so let's have a little looky. This little puppy here is made out of what I do believe is a circular saw. And the only reason I'm saying that is because of those grind marks. Now, I love, I love people when they make stuff out of stuff that it just has no use anymore. So upcycling recycling whatever you want to call it or re up cycling you know it it gives it a new lease of life and i absolutely am digging it so on to the cost that i paid i paid a whopping 20 pounds for this 20 quid for a handmade knife handmade might be custom because I have never seen another one like this and I don't know where it came from I just picked it up out of a group on Facebook that I'm in and it was 20 quid I thought I like the look of that I'll take a punt so in my books a 20 quid handmade custom knife that that you know hands down that's worth 20 quid even if it turns out to be caca shit however sorry to spoil it hasn't been that cack of shit. It's actually been really quite good. So on to the second point, which is the color and scales. Now, I have been semi sort of in talks with Rue. However, he is a very busy man and I haven't yet got the answers that I need for this video so i'm going to take a stab and an educated guess and if you think i'm wrong obviously let me know in the comments below all help is much appreciated on this knife because it is such a unique one for me anyway and hopefully you guys haven't seen anything quite like it as well it's definitely a rootedly design he has done so many other knife designs and they just are not like anything i've ever seen so Hopefully this is quite interesting for you guys. So I'm going to call this my Carter. I'm going to call this deep red, I say, deep red, almost a brown, I'd say, my Carter. With I'm going to go for G10 liners in there. Now the reason I say G10 is because I had the pleasure of owning another custom knife for roughly a week and that had some g10 liners slash um, backspacer on it so i'm pretty sure this is the same stuff right now we've got that bit out of the way if you think i'm right let me know below if you think i'm wrong still let me know below i just want to know i just want to know guys i just want to know right carry style we are looking at i'm going to say right-handed on the actual knife itself and that is just purely because of that chisel grind on there so it has no edge that side however it does there so it's been nicely ground on one side and not the other so when you are cutting things i have noticed it pulls in so it pulls that way like so a lot more 
and or sort of this action it just tends to go sort of when you're pulling back it sort of goes in and to the left a bit so that's what I've noticed from using a chisel grind on my first run however it has been and done very well in terms of edge retention because I don't know what steel this is not a monkey's it could be absolutely anything anything that a circular saw blade has been made from so that literally could be anything I'm gonna call it tool steel that's what we're gonna go for tool steel so yeah it I'd love to tell you guys and I really really want to however unless mr. Rue comes back to me and lets me know exactly what circular saw brand he used and at what period in time and unless he knows exactly what steel it is I, I, I can't go any further than tool steel I'm afraid so if I get any updates from Rue I will post them in the description below so you can have a little look see at all my findings from it so on to the centering and the log so centering we'll just see if that is straight that looks rather straight to me I can't see no going to the left no going to the right happy days now the lock is the sheath you've really got to give it a bit of welly to go in there because if you don't and you just gently put it in there like you're playing with a pillow it doesn't snap in it just doesn't so you've got to really give it a good yeah I've got a knife you know I got a I got a rude tiddly knife yeah and what and what that sort of jazz you know what I mean all of that stuff so this uh, sheath like I said had camo design on it but I didn't like it and this is not going anywhere I could literally throw this at whatever angle I could probably throw it at someone something and this still would not come out of this sheath I absolutely love it very nice very good very tasty nice so on to the length we will go and have a look at the cutting edge quickly the cutting edge will try this way because it's a little bit easier for moi now I'm going to set that as exactly six and a half centimeters on the cutting edge and furthest point to furthest point which is there I'll go for yeah there so I'd call that 17 and a half centimeters exactly as well very nice on the old exact hose and let's have a look at furthest point first point with the sheath on so uh, furthest point to first point you are looking at just under 19 so I'd call that 18.7 18.8 centimeters and then from actual length wise roughly 18.2 centimeters on that one so let us now have a look at screw size so I do have somewhere I think it's this one I think it's this one it is yep yeah, it is an Allen so as you can see and undo do up so what you would need to do is you would have to obviously to undo it's not a problem it just undoes on its own however when you want to tighten it up you need to get a flat blade in there or something just to wedge across those just so you can tighten it up otherwise it just starts spinning like so now a bit different however I like it it's I've always got an Allen hanging about and I've always got something flat hanging about if not I could easily make something so that's not a problem rather than these little guys up here they round off like no one's business so thank you again Rue I appreciate that on to the logos 
Now, all there is on this absolute weird ass but quite cool blade is RT. So, rootedly stamped in there. And that's all she wrote for that. Nothing on, nothing else on there and nothing else on the sheath either. Let's move that crud out of the way. So, now we will go on to the hair pop. However, I've got a good feeling that it might pop one or two. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But let's have a little looky. Let me get the right angle on this edge to shave because I tried it before and you just had to get that perfectly right angle and then it would pop a few. However, number one, I'm pretty crap at shaving unless it's sharp as hell, which this is not. <laughs> So I'm going to say no on the shaving sharp after a week's worth of using. However, it's tall still, you know, it is what it is. I will be giving this a sharpen and this will be staying at my work premises because I love it. I love it for a little work knife. It is absolutely lovely. And it's just it just fits up in in your hand really nice and snug. It, you can get just about all your fingers on there and you can even run your thumb across this like ramp I guess you could call it a ramp it's just a huge ramp I guess and that's that's literally all I've been using it for I've been using it putting some pressure on it I've been doing it this way I've been holding it like so and going for it's just been really really nice to hold just because of that nicely designed angle because once you have it it is just set it's ready and set to go just at that perfect angle whilst it's in your hand so yeah I like the ergos on this they, they are they do get it does get a bit sore after a while I'm not gonna lie but I, it's something I can deal with so that is a note to take on if you do get something like this similar maybe it may get a bit sore after a while however that this has been like day after day after day in my hand pretty much using it so i can't complain it's it, i've got no one else but myself to blame for that so i will just do a size comparison i haven't got a lot with me so you'll have to bear with for what we have got we've got a bird turn and we'll just line up the scales there and then we have got an open all number eight. We'll go for the scale lineup as well. And then, just because most people know it, there is a lunar. And again, we will line up the scales. So, in actual fact, it is not too far off the lunar, even in terms of blade length. You are just talking about this little smidgy bit here. And then the Luna actually has it on the scale side just by a little smidgy bit. So it's not actually that much larger than a Luna. So that's probably why it fits nice in my hand. But there we have it. That is the Rue Titley. I don't even know what to call it. A, a, the Rue Titley knife. There's many knives that Rue Titley makes, but I've got this knife. I don't know what I'm saying that for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying that for at all. I'm just making shit up. Right. So this is Rue's knife that he's made for someone at some point, I do believe, or maybe just to sell, just because he. I have no idea. I I really don't know. I'm just waffling. So if I do find out for you guys, I, you will be the first to know, either on Instagram if you don't follow, check it out. Or on Facebook which is linked to Instagram as well or here I will come here first because I care about you guys more than anything so I'll be here first then we'll go over to Instagram so if you're on any of those platforms I'm hoping that we will catch you so thank you very much for watching stay safe stay happy stay shaving sharp I'll see you on the next one